Hey guys, welcome back to Rewatch Movie. I am Mike. Thank you all for taking a moment of your day to hang out with me and talk Scream ah! news. Is it Scream 2? Is it Scream? That's two exclamation points, by the way. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with my hands. Interpretive dance. This image leaked on an Instagram story last night from one Xavier Zazueta, which has now been deleted. Xavier here is, it looks like he's in some sort of relationship with Melissa Barrera, as he says in a post, happy birthday, love of my life. He is a singer and he's got a wonderful voice, but he's probably gonna be in trouble with the people from Scream because this went down really quick. <laughs> Which you understand, you gotta feel for the guy because if, if you're unaware, I mean, the, the guy's a singer, if you're unaware, if you're on the Set, you're friends with people there you're totally unaware of how crazy the fan base is and what an uproar this sort of thing could cause he's probably like ah it's a fucking picture of a chair i can take that that'll be fine and then the next thing you know it's just people are screaming like who the fuck did this but here it is and it's causing some mass confusion uh on the internet uh there's so many people as usual that are coming out and saying for sure i know that this movie's called scream too that's weird and then other people are like it's called scream with two exclamation points. And then if you look deeper, you can see here that there's clearly a six in between the, the, the blood markings. So you got scream, you've got scream with two exclamation points, meaning scream seven would be scream with three exclamation points, which I think would just be ridiculous because it just like, you're going to need a fucking oval teen decoder by the time it's over with to tell which movie's which. Aha, B. <laughs> I went to the next. To me, and I could be wrong, but my guess is that this is purposefully vague because they don't even know yet. Think about it. It was just like a week or so before shooting before we found out for sure that Nev may not be in the movie. I think that they're, they're working with a flow. Take in the good energy, block out the bad. Take in the good energy, block out the bad. All good things. Feel the flow. Feeling it. Working it. Where were we? I just completely lost all track of what was happening. Look, you've got the scream there. You got the scream too with the Roman numerals. Some people are going as far as say, this means Roman's back because Roman numerals. That's not even. What? What? That'd be like if someone's like, I hear that they eat soup in Scream 6. Confirmed. Stew's fucking back, dude. Stew. Soup. It's happening. <laughs> I'm not saying it won't. But they would not. If, they, if their big reveal here was to bring Roman back, do you think they would hint at it in the fucking title? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I think that that would be really stupid. Like playing Chumbawamba while your wife walked down the aisle. Actually, that'd be kind of rad. But yeah, you know what I think? I think that we should remember back in the day, uh, as this post from Top Girl Cassidy here on Twitter says, this was a picture of the chair from the production during Scream 5. Uh, now remember, when, and this is before we knew the name of, that they were just going to call it Scream as well. And remember it had the slash through it and everybody's like, that means Scream 5 because the 5 is for like a tally mark when you do tallies and it means 5. So it's going to be called Scream 5 or is it Scream or is it 5 Cream? Or is it like Mindy recently said on Instagram, Scraxkin <laughs> Bickerston. Was the movie titled Scream in the end? Yes, but we thought with the slash, this was also a little bit vague on purpose. I think that that showing Scream, Scream 2, it has the six in there, it has the Roman numerals in there. It says that we are putting a placeholder on this fucking chair and probably on whatever logos we need for stuff. And... We don't know what the title is yet. That's my opinion. What do you guys think? Which one would you like the best? Now, I'm going to say right now, I hate Screams. I've always hated Screams. Our buddy Courtney here won our uh, Name Scream 6 contest, which was just calling it Ghostface, which I think is fucking beautiful, especially since we're hoping that this is the movie where Ghostface survives the end of the movie, and that's the twist. He's not revealed at all. He survives, and he shows up in 7, and then it ends up being Stu. But... No, that's for another day, another conversation. Every day is a winding road. But which one do you like better of these options? Would you rather have it called Scream 6, Scream 2, or would you rather have it called Scream? Personally, I like Scream 6 because it's the least goddamn confusing of them all. In other news, there is some leaky stuff that's been coming out. Here's a picture of Gale on set. I'm assuming it's Gale. Does it look like Gale? Yeah. Everyone says it's Gale, and she's fucking dressed like Gale, so it looks like that's probably Gale. I'll believe it from Eric Shag. That could also be just someone named Rachel who likes pantsuits that are the color of teal. Or a random lady wearing a pantsuit. 
but it's nice to see Gale on set. That makes it feel a little real, doesn't it? Doesn't that building behind them right there look just... That just looks like a building that would be in Scream 2. It just does. I don't know. Okay, now we've reached the part of the show where I get really annoyed at the internet. Uh, you guys know I cannot stand spoilers. You know I can't not stand spoilers disguised as scoops even worse. This, to me, is just fucked up. Why on earth, as a fan of something... And I don't know who took this picture, but whoever it is, I guess I'm talking to you. Someone took a picture of a character, and I'm not going to say who it is. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. Do not worry. I'm not a dick-faced McGregorton. But why on earth are you such a big fan of something you show up while they're filming it? You take pictures of what could possibly be a huge spoiler death. Why on earth would you release those onto the internet and ruin that part of that movie for all those people who are fellow fans of something? It's just the ultimate dick move. And you should apologize and stop it. You stop it. <laughs> you don't do that anymore. You need to find someone in your life to check you on this shit. Why on earth would you post this picture of a character in seemingly what looks like a body bag with their face sticking out of the body bag? Now, people are saying that this is one of the main characters. If you look at the picture without the, the cover here that I put on it. Uh, and, you know, I don't know that. I can't tell that for sure. But if it is this character that people are saying it is, that looks like it's possibly a body bag. Now, if that is a body bag, let's look at this. Why the hell would the actual actor need to be in the body bag between scenes? I'd say 9 out of 10 situations, they probably put an extra inside of the body bag and don't actually make the actor whose character's been killed get in the body bag. So that's number one. Number two, we don't know if this is that person or not. Uh, I, I don't see anything that's clear enough of an image to tell me it's that person. I think we're just assuming based on other factors. Uh, and number three, unless, of course, there is a scene where someone comes up and they want to see if it's that person and they unzip the body bag and they're like, oh, no, it's you, fuck! And then that's why it's that's why they, you would have to have that actor in that body bag. Um, but in my estimation, I think people are... Number one, it was dickhead thing to release this. Number two... I think people are blowing this out of proportion as well. Um, number three, that may not be a body bag. Uh, it could be one of those magical blankets that they put on in Scream 5 that healed their stomach wounds and their stab wounds and their bullet wounds. Uh, could be one of those. It's very blurry, hard to tell. And, you know, the, the, the gurney is sitting up just like it was at the end of Scream 5 when Chad was being wheeled back in um, into the ambulance. So... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is not a spoiler, but if it is a spoiler and it does turn out to be true, why put this on the internet? Why could, why, why put this on the internet? That kid, that kid is back on the escalator. I just don't understand it, guys. I just don't understand why we do it to each other. Let people enjoy the movie when it comes out. It's not that fucking far away. You can find out who dies when you find out who dies. And that, my friends, concludes our Scream update. I hope you guys are happy. Hey, we didn't talk about Nev Campbell one time. Give it up for us, guys. There was no will she, won't she, nothing. I'm not saying she doesn't deserve to be talked about. I'm just saying it's nice to talk about the actual movie instead of the, the back and forth that's been going on there. So good for us. You guys have an amazing goddamn Thursday. I just spilt fucking coffee on my crotch and it burns a little. What are you going to do on October 31st? What are you going to do on October 31st? Here comes that white-faced fucker, an asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit, wants to stab your sister's tits because he's a white-faced fucker. Loomis can't recover, Dr. Challenge drunk again, sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you want to know about the darkness? I said God damn. God damn, you fighter. I said God damn. A lot of people don't know the darkness that goes inside their hearts. I said God.